rows of those plush seating up there in the suites. The seats have been filled. Bruce had six great years here. And, of course, Rick Barnes is... What a solid program with that rec recruiting class coming in next year for the volunteer. Look at this kid. His, his quickness, Mike, is really special. The best scoring big guy. The recruiting here, what he's done. Austin Wiley, it's finally all come together for him as well. Pons, left of the lane, turns and fires. McElroy brings down with the system. Jalen Johnson with a contested three. from Durham, North Carolina. You see where it stands right now. A couple of Big 12 teams at the top. And if you're a mid-major, this is a great year. Gonzaga, San Diego State, Dayton could all a move by a future NBA player in Isaac Okoro. And he just, he, he, he literally just blasts through your gap protection defensively. Just a big, strong ball. If you can't stay in front of the ball, it's hard to win games. And at the end of this game so far, that's the problem for Tennessee's defense. Focus and swagger and a purpose. Like Bruce Pearl, you know, sent a message to his guys. Bruce back in Knoxville. And you knew Auburn was at least going to bring Tennessee's in that, in that same equation. Kentucky incidentally down 10 at the half against the Florida Gators. And no Ashton Hagens in that ball game. Hooks on that left block just waiting for the post entry. Giving 18 to their 28 in the paint. Pons three. He's an improved shooter, and he knocks it down. With the screens being set in this game by Tennessee, they're just body on body to Kentucky. Pons back cut. Boy, right, good job, EJ Montgomery came over to help on defense. Ability to control the game, not turn it over. They have three point guards, which should lead to fewer turnovers. As Pons shot misses, and 15. Hagan still misses his fair share of shots at the rim. Pons three. Got it. Eve Pons. Boy, Pons had more time than I think yeah. he thought, and then Richards just had to go off. Richards coming out of the dunker spot to the front of the rim. Lead back to seven. Pons jumper baseline rattles it in. That basketball floor and Coach Tao are happy. Higgins has nine. Pawns. Yes! Knocks down a three. The play to Rick Barnes dial up in that timeout. Vescovi open. Pawns. Knocks it down. He pawns has been really clutch. Let me check the clock. The crowd trying to let him believe there's three seconds on the shot clock. That's a near impossible shot, but the help defense left Pawns wide open. This kind of touches, man. Ten feet and down.
have to do, and they play for 40 minutes. And in college basketball this year, that style will get you a lot of wins. Career high, 25. He had that against Florida last year. After us today, and after that one, Baylor at Florida. So a lot of great action still coming your way. Pons inside, elevates too strong. Nick Barnes has come out of halftime with Pons on Azubuki instead of Fulkerson. Well, Pons is such a great defender. He can guard anybody out there. Made his first 2-3. Sports Center commercial for sure. Okay. Thank you so much. Have fun today. Thank you, Holly. Thanks. Well, if Peyton Manning wants to get a word in, doesn't want to get cussed out, he shouldn't work on our crew. <laughs> you know, I was going to... And the screening action, instead of worrying about guarding the ball, first thing you have to do is guard the ball. And, and sometimes being the screener is the best way to get open, right? Because they... Volunteers hanging around here at Allen Fieldhouse, down by six. Dotson's got it. When, when James has the ball, he's not a finer gentleman within the NCAA structure than Gene Corrigan. And our condolences to the entire Corrigan family, including our own Tim Corrigan, one of Gene's sons, who baseline. And Devon Dotson is a athletically courageous driver. Another switch on the exchange. Way short. Yeah, there is so much time left in this game in a two-possession game. Tennessee has really hung in there. I'm one of the last times that there was out of bounds underneath for Tennessee. They ran action for Eve Ponds to get a lob. So they're going to basically have five guys. It was all about the timing and the clock and the ribbon board malfunctioning. Are we good on the clocks above? Apparently he never played the nickel slots. He only saw my nickel shots. <laughs> C with the board. Started this game three for 14. But they got Brian Tyree a shot, and it wasn't a bad look. Pons goes to the right, left it short with C back on the floor. Well, when you're hot, you can take and make tough shots. When you're not hot, say Jordan Bowden. Yeah, Mons is going to make those kinds. And if that's 19 feet and it's not a three or it's 17 feet, and people go, that's not a good two because Mons will make it a three. Mons with another half and seven. Look, well said. Fulkerson with his first miss from the field. Pons. And Jalen Chatson going to the free throw. I'm really impressed with the practice yesterday by Coach Stackhouse, the organization, attention to detail. There's Pons back into the game. Have a natural point guard and he's a very physical player. Extremely athletic, can finish through contact. Pons scores are the Pons, he can hit this. Missed everything though. The first half, so Evans and Pippen pass up the triple. Brayley Edward, uh, uh, Albert Pardon says, I'm going to try it. Oh, look oh, at this! Goodness. <laughs> he went down a few weeks back. I love Stackhouse's demeanor, his composure. On another vicious dunk for Eve Pons! To get easy buckets. We cannot overstate it enough. Third game without Aaron Neesmith. He is out for the foreseeable future thanks to a stress fracture. And his right foot, we were talking. Fulkerson. Can't stick it in. Pons with the putback. So Tennessee in the 
the orange. Georgia in the white. Ball's ball to get it started. Both teams solid man-to-man -man teams. Both teams do not shoot the ball. I'll tell you, Eric Musselman has done a tremendous job in his first year. He's got two terrific players, Mason Jones and Isaiah Joe. Keep every one of these guys home. Shot clock winding. Pons rises. They can usually hit that. Pons. Johnson, he finds it. Good ball fake, but team leaves it short. And Pons with the follow. The reason I want the ball in James's hands is he's got a chance to make plays. Because he can do a little bit of something like Bradley Beal. And if you look at the numbers going back to Brad, Brad's freshman year at Florida, this guy has better numbers. Now the team's not as good. <laughs> the Fred for show, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it, just a great man. 700 wins. But the block looked like it was Kamara got a piece. George is locked in on a defensive end. They have really crowded. John Fulkerson, we haven't hardly called Fulkerson's name tonight. Bonds can't get it to go. Now Fulkerson. LSU at a college right now. Lindell yep. uh, Wiggins at the Iowa State. These guys would be done. Dominating college basketball and be high dress. Right. That's right. And that's tricky because there's a lot of detective work that goes into these guys, not only on the court, but off the court. And uh, that's still. The recruiting process, as Tom Creed was telling us. That's right. He could have picked any school in America, and he chose to be a pioneer, if you will. Try to help Tom Creed. That was the mock draft for the top five in Jonathan Gavoni's mock draft. Just updated it within the last week. me is James Wiseman because he is an aircraft carrier, and I know the NBA is trended smaller, but I, I'm going to take a hard look at Wiseman as well. But listen. Watch out both teams. You see the spacing on each corner that allows their point guard to come off that high ball screen. Bombs lines up a three. Flying in for the on a blow by. Up top. It's Bout watching the three. Kicks out. Offensive rebound. Pons. Pons lost it out of bounds. Gamecock basketball. Muscle it in. Can't do it. Tennessee clears. A two point game. We thought points would be hard to come by. They have been. Pons. Tennessee offensive rebound. Fresh 20 seconds on the shot clock. Another open three, another miss. On the opener against Florida, Andrew Nemhard had a clinic off the of ball screens. Wilcox have defended it much better today. Pons on a pull up. And there's Cook on a blow by. Blocked by Pons. Really in the waiting hands of James. Wait for the Calvary. Pons lines up a three. You've seen Jordan Bowden with a worse day. One for 14 overall, one for 10 from three. Right. Uh, you know, he's still given, obviously, a lot on the defensive end, and he's a threat out there. Confidence in, poised player, has played on the international stage before. Mitchell Smith may have caught an elbow from Dean Pond. No space for Mark Smith. You cannot allow him any catch and shoot opportunities. Mark Smith's like me. I thought I thought Joe James was one of those. Of course, Watson has really struggled offensively, pressing a bit, under 30% from the floor, 29 from three. Three to one turnovers to they'll get the advantage from the free throw line. So here's Jalen Johnson, one of a host of southpaws on this team. Late in the clock again. Missouri doing a good job of not giving Tennessee anything free. Here's Pons. Catch Tennessee off guard. Tennessee with 11 first half turnovers. Only three here through the first nine minutes in the second. The score will be back leading the charge at the point. Got it. And Missouri jumps in front with that three pointer from Mark Smith. Did you see the Conzo Martin reaction? That guy is players back in the game. He has to play smart in order to close this game out. Their man, they were occupied on the weak side. Good job that time by Tennessee sliding over and forcing that contested shot. Conzo baseline, Jay, is good.
Ponds, he's got that range, knocks it down. Another triple better against Ohio State in the upset last night. I had Wisconsin in November, early November at the Barclays. They lost to Richmond and New Mexico in back-to-back -back games. Pond, smart, knocks down the three, assisted by Mays, who has come back into the game with two fouls. Ponds, whoa, way up to get that one, Emmett Williams. Shot clock down to two. Crowd helps out. He pops and he knocks it down. Second half for Muscovy and limiting his turnovers. Trying to do a little bit too much, and that sometimes can happen when you join a team you wanted to show. Quarterback, and it's, it's tough to go against Ed Ogeron. Yeah. Like, you got to love the energy from Coach O. Hans had it blocked. Maybe. Good defensives to win it for LSU in their shooting contest against Oklahoma. So you're telling me that Joe Burrow can get a ball. Let's go! Maybe an issue. I know Kent Lowe. Let's go be defended by Mays, and now he finds spinning. Yeah. Fulkerson had inside position, couldn't do anything about it. Another 7 0 run for LSU. Hans going downtown now. That is three consecutive possessions with a three-pointer. Pons. Got numbers. Look at my numbers. Look at my numbers for him. It's not about that. It's how efficient are you in getting your numbers? Pons looking for some help. 171 made three-pointers in his career. Turner, the lob to Pons. Look at that catch in traffic, but gets it rejected by Henry. JSU running a faction. No, that's one thing that Tennessee's really got to hang their hat on. You know, they're, they're, they're playing really, really good defense. They just need the offense to go along with it. Well, there's Pons. Job. Doubles it over to James. Now inside Pond. Eve Pons just hit the little follow. -up. That's a tough look. Rolls around the rim, and it's tapped over. See, offensively, 6 of 15 overall from the floor. Pons on the block. This is where he's so improved. Look at that up and under. Three-pointer from Rowe misses. Back-to-back -back possessions. JSU's had a chance to take a lead. Turner gives it back out top. Pons one. Jackson. Someone say da 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 da. <laughs> Pons in transition. Buries the three. He's doing it all. Pons on the block. Turns over the right shoulder. Fall away jumper. Gets it to roll through. Danger zone, man. You know, this 13-point lead could get away from them fairly quickly if they don't settle down. 2-3 zone look, and Tennessee gets it to the sweet spot, right? He is 11 now in the game. Well, just watching him yesterday just really work on his jump shot. You know, practice has been over for, you know, 30, 45 minutes, and he's still working on his game in Saturday. This is the 50-year point guard, Lamonte Turner, off for E. Pons. Terrifically athletic Frenchman runs into the wall of both. Three here is Bowden. And Jordan Bowden, Tennessee's leading scorer, cannot connect. Offensive rebound for games and a third chance stuck in. The French. And you have to have coaches that are leaders of men and women. And uh, from there, you know, student athletes do amazing things and you got to tell their story. So uh, if you have the coaches in the, in the out, Spolkers hit off the slip. Jaden Johnson into the game, finds Pons. And Pons delivers in the post, elevating it. Two from the big man, vote with Jaron on the bench. You know, I would look for him to play more through vote in the second half. He played at Northern Kentucky. He knows John Fish. You know, Cincinnati really likes Jaime Cerrulli. He's from Barcelona, Spain. Transferred from Falco, and they really like him. Position on the back rim. And you don't see that every day from your shooting guard. Be able to go up with the bigs and finish at the rim. Pons cannot. Pons misses a three. It's in 13 seconds. He has seven cents. Pons too strong. And he committed to Duke. Come out of San Diego. He changed his mind. Decided to join here. That three's too strong for Eve Pond. Played on this kind of showcase. Such a talented player. Oh, he's had four double doubles. 
Mitch McFord in the last five games. Hans went right at him. The follow the punch early and dealt with the atmosphere and responded to take a one point lead at halftime. Eve Hans fades away. Can't get the roll. You know, he went Wilkerson did Boogie Ellis, but rimmed out the flip. Well, Ellis got great scoring ability. You can see it. He could drive the ball, he could shoot from the distance. Hans from distance. Short. Tapped around, right to turn. And one thing about Turner, very unselfish kind of player, always looking for his teammates, trying to get them a better shot. Hans rises up. Well, when you got veteran guards, they'll take control of it. That's what's happened about it, and certainly Turner. They're not going to allow that to happen. Hans. Seven to shoot. More aggressive because uh, right now the pressure that Memphis is putting on them is really getting to them a little bit. So I think that they'll turn it around in the last few minutes. I appreciate it. I'll let you enjoy the game. Thank you. He's a great college player to watch. He had a lane to the basket, beat his man off the dribble. There's two seconds on the shot clock and in midair tried to pass it. You've got to be aware of what's happening. Time, score, situation. for DJ Jeffries for the eighth time this season. See why John Calipari wanted him. He's originally committed to Kentucky. Evans. Highland. E. to Pons in the corner. That won't go. Olenich and Shooter in the country, and he misses that one. James inside, Pons the finish. They average almost 14 turnovers a game, so they take it, but they can give it up, too. Fulkerson got it to Pons from deep. Got it. This kid Hans baseline. Finish! He's the best pure three point shooter on the team. He averages about eight minutes a game and he's taking the most threes on the team, so he knows how to get them up. Tennessee got to find something in this half court. Corner. Hans answers. Long time on the bench for him. Times from deep may have been partially blocked. I think Gray may have. Ponds from deep can't get it to go. That was a big one. That was a big. And play with a lot of heart and care. Ponds faces up on Ryan. Wheels deals and finger rolls it in. Pretty move. Okay, go back to the line being. Uh, back to, to uh, another foot or so how that would affect his team. He said for the marginal shooter The shooters that aren't that consistent and try the, the issue Tennessee waiting him 
Open three for Pons. He's improved. He's in zero assists, but if they can keep their turnovers for the game in single digits, then it doesn't allow Tennessee to get out into the open break. Ramon Vila transferred from Arizona to get out of position. Offensive rebound. The pass was dropped and then caught by Bell. Missed the shot. Pons on the call had a block. Point guard could have took the shot. He knows that Owosho is the guy they're looking for to have the ball in his hands. Finds him in the corner for a good shot. Pons from three. Is there. Basketball. Pons into the paints. Can't score. A thousand. John Fulkerson into the paints. Out to Pons. Tough two. Good job. This looks tough. He Osho leaves his dunk attempt or layup attempt short. Now the ball's in traffic. High five! Just what we were asking for. And, and he's able to use his body and his strength to get the right position and use the leg in. Bonds from deep. Yes! That worked. They're trying to get their big man back with a transfer from Arizona State that would really sure up some of the problems they have at the defensive end as far as rim protection, that Kyle Alexander type role. I didn't. I'll tell you what, though, those top two guys especially, Admiral Schofield and Grant Williams, epitomize what Rick Barnes wants out of his players. Neither were highly recruited, but a brilliant talent. One of the five stars recruited by Mike Hopkins and his staff. Johnson takes the bump. Rebounding right now, and I'm going, hey, it'll come. It's going to come, kid. A lot of high school, Jordan Bowden only had one Division One offer. That came from Texas Pan American. Again, in the middle of the zone. This time it's game move from your 6'9 freshman. Pons from the short corner for two. His shot has for rebound anywhere. He's got springs in his legs. Young man who didn't lift a weight until he came to the States. Here he is again in the middle of the zone. Turn and shoot. Got it from 14 feet. So he worked out with Rico Hine. Isaiah Stewart into double figures. He's got the Huskies back to within 11. Pons gets the roll. Not a huge impact in the first half, obviously, because of foul trouble. He did score in double figures, Isaiah Stewart. But the fact that he only ended the half with two personal fouls and pick up its level of aggressiveness. A great job. A curl cut originally by McDaniels, then a, another curl cut by Carter. And a good crisp pass. He has a different level of respect from high school recruits, and the same thing's happening in Knoxville. And that's why it's built for sustainability. It's not built to be a one-hit wonder. Stewart goes out for Washington. McDaniels is back on the floor. I didn't see anything over there that changes my mentality. A very good defensive team with an elite level guard that can score and also facilitate for their Kate and get a three point shot that way. Pons rises up. Carter is fouled by the coach of the year. Has outlined that very often in the preseason. We are going to be a more guard oriented team. Any chances this team will get from Tevin Brown, who knocks down his second three. Now you better find him. James, that time the freshman, better realize this guy reports for real. Ponds with his. You take down the Wildcats. You got Murray still ahead by eight. Boy, Eve Ponds was up in the Raptors for a second. <laughs> Physical, a wide frame. He's got a good body, Division One level body already. Pons with his third three. Got to try to keep this thing at ten or less and just regroup completely inside the locker. Pons scores again. Coming off a of curve, down by as many as twelve in the first half. It's back to six. Pons, the up and under, back to four. to Pons. See, as they go zone, though, that's where I'd like to see maybe James for Tennessee in the middle. That's something Grant Williams did such a good job of last year was kind of being that point forward in the middle of the to Pons. From 18. Pons. He cleans up the boards. Off the weak side, Pons can, can do plenty of that. 
Four to shoot. Pines. It's a long two. And he's showing the range. Here. Three point attempt from Jones. And there's the freshman, Josiah Jordan James. Run out for Pons and a layup. He misses it, but Fulkerson. Point guard in North Carolina. And it, North Carolina is a basketball playing state, so you know there's a lot of kids there to get after it. James with a little runner. Pons an offensive rebound and a stick back. Bats is going to stay at it all night. He's going to play with a lot of energy. He's going to take a lot of shots. He's going to look to be extremely aggressive. The coach is behind him. He has the 100% green light on offense. Pons wants a three-pointer at the other. ...by Lamonte taking the shot that he wanted. But you got to make sure that you're attacking the basket, not living with the three-pointer. Pons with three rebounds already as he pulls the trigger on another jump shot. And a fast of, hi of him for, from, for the outside, he's always going to be have the green light to shoot it. Pons underneath will fall away. Left-hand shot. Good look at Good job. Thorpe has been a mismatch all night. He's able to put the ball on the floor. He moves more like a guard than a big man, and that's going to be difficult to stop. Good give and go. Fulkerson dumps it inside for... Out and air balls it, but Pons on the stick back. He's got five more for Asheville, and they convert. But running the other way, it's Gaines who's stuffed by Lawson. Pons gets it back and sticks it in. 15 for Pons. Big time for Pons. Coach Barnes wanted all of the returners to get the start tonight. Johnson finds it. Here's Pons. Just off the mark, there's Fulkerson cleaning up the track. That they were playing better than everybody else. I think in the times past when Tennessee's playing their best ball, they have a chip and an edge on their shoulder that they're coming in to take something. Pons just missed the dunk. Here's Drew Pember. I'm like, this is not Tennessee basketball. You know, we got to pick it up, show why we are considered one of the top programs in the SEC, and, and they came out and showed it. In and out from three-point land for each. Things that he's able to do, we're just getting a glimpse right now. He's super talented, super explosive. So he's going to, be, he's going to become a fan favorite easily because of his willingness to share the ball. Here's Pons. Mostly scored last year off of Dunk. Pons from three. Great basketball movement. Finds Pons. Just off the mark from three.
Fulkerson, Fulkerson, shot right between the eyes of Austin Wiley. He's got six. He is so good. To the SEC, and uh, and they've just been devastated yeah. still. And look forward to getting there next next week and, and, and meeting folks. And Bowden, shot hasn't been that consistent this year. And it goes to Parnes on the offensive glass. This Kobe's three. In and out on Jatobo. Final, and it's a 15-point game once again. Hans for Fulkerson. A real probably nine or ten that could win it. I think the number is 20 or, or plus that could get there. I know a team that you see a lot of, the Dayton Flyers, could app. Fulkerson battling with Blackshear. He puts it back out. They really need a win tonight. And if they keep playing like, the, like they were when Joe was in the lineup. He had a good chance of going to the big dance. There's a load. Bowden loads up an open three. Finally misses one. Offensive rebound, Pons. Last few possessions, Tennessee's been able to get offensive rebound. Obina, the post presence for Vandy. Speaking white out, John Fulkerson doing a great job of protecting the basket for tennis. There's 31% from behind the arc. Yeah, short closeout. This is a drive first guy. Good ball movement there in transition. Since Tennessee gets their first offensive put back of the game. Vandy has started this game one for eight. Pippen doesn't look any. Good transition D right there by Vandy. To not give up dribble penetration. As of now, Tennessee is 4-1 and one in quad three games. The only loss coming at home to Texas. Into the mid-semester enrollee. So this is his freshman year. His first game was J uh, January 4th against LSU. 6-7 yeah. and 6-6. Six, six. That's it's talking all about the size. And that's a big lineup for Arkansas. Yes. <laughs> Fourth foul on Bailey. Part with maximum effort and heart. Back-to-back and -back overtime losses to Auburn and to Missouri and in the first half. They average 14.8 per game. Kick out, Bowden, they need it, they got it. Johnson was it inside for Pons. Creating space, they converge. The Scoby shot clock winding down. The switch now. Dump it down low, Pons, kick out. Nice recovery. The Scoby got a three. And Bowden from the point. Work it inside. Pons off the double. Bowden the three. Off the mark. Scoby. Nice job defensively by Viscoby on the other side. They tried to back cut him, which he has a little tendency to do. The freshman, his shot just short there. This one is drilled by Jalen Johnson. A chance at some playing time here for the Vols. He comes in looking to hunt threes. Coming into this game, third be a little more fluid in their, in their offense. Get the ball moving side to side, especially against this elite Tennessee defense. Per game, and you're seeing him reaping some of the rewards. Here's Ponce. Good entry pass to Fulkerson on the glass. There's Bowden. Screen by Fulkerson. 
Another no look. It didn't bring the intensity, the toughness that he demands. But they have come here to Knoxville and listen to what his... Vescovi in some trouble, gets out of it, finds Eve Pons. Rick Barnes and Bill Self really prize toughness amongst their players. Nice job icing that ball screen, keeping it to the left side, not letting it get to the way from Azubuki. Vescovi behind the back. Now Pons, immediate double team, triple team in fact. I think Isaiah Moss has to step forward and produce at a higher level. You know what you're going to get from Marcus Garrett day in, day out. Christian Brown is coming on. Players, not just on the offensive end, but it's giving guys like John Petty confidence on both ends of the floor. They're fun to watch. I think John Petty is just taking a look at clock chips. I'd say Nate Oates at Alabama, and they'll say, well, points per possession, points per shot break down in a way that there's more value right. in certain places. on. Bowden for three. Stuck there. Viscovi on the move. Johnson wants three. And he has a senior into double figures for the 12th time now. The defense a big part of that bucket. How about Sunset? Was a, a staple of those Dallas teams in the mid 2000s. Of course, they went to the 2006 NBA Finals. Us to Georgia. But Tennessee in position to get to three and two in the league. Bowden, he scores it. These players and coaches have no idea. Andy Bonds, SID. Yeah, I just love Kumar, man. He's active, he's long, he's athletic. Great shot blocker. Puts a hand and jump to Georgia. Since ESPN started its rankings back in 2007. And there's James with yes. the Kind of a little homage to old daddy o Appreciated too, like by Joe Lindsay. Final. Even call people out in a timeout mm -hmm. and say, it's okay, coach, give me the ball. I'll get us a shot, or I'll defend him. There's going to be that alpha male for the... And I'm looking forward to it, my friend. The coverage will begin at 2 o'clock on the SEC Network. Of course, the game will be on ESPN. Cannot wait. You hear what they were saying? Uh-huh. Take him. Take him to the hole. <laughs> that was usually me playing defense. <laughs> you made up for it on the other end. Oh, yeah. His feet off the catch. Ariel McKinney on the floor. He's going to tee one up. And he will chase down his own miss. McKinney turned for freshman. If his game's come quick. And here's a guy that was so physically dominant at the high school level. He's having to learn how to play. A big guy in college ball. His motor and Luca Garza from Iowa. They set the bar, man. Them two dudes. They bring the wood every time. Look at Higgins, nice move. Wow. And block by Pons. An no run for Tennessee. Richards on the bench. Justina in Montgomery front court. Maxi. Boy, that is such a tough shot he got. Higgins, one on one, left hand, no good. Justina crashes in the second half. He's. Pushing Nick Richards around right now as Maxi sees the lane, throws it up, no good. Blackshear, I mean, your your guy was through cleanly, and you let Blackshear have a wide open 15 footer. What do we see so far? Don't go under, don't go, don't go under on lock. Now they've been on him here. It's Johnson, Fulkerson, and the hook. And Blackshear clears it out. Really put Fulkerson into a tough two, did the Florida Gators. Well, this is the one right here. Inside. Witt inside. Rejected by Pons. Hey, Joe, fill in the slack. But if Mason Jones gets it going, watch out. Jones on a step back two. Left it short. We got ourselves a four-point game. Arkansas dominated the first half. Sills on a floater. No. Gets his own. Kind of. Jones in the trees. Wow. Are you kidding me? Mason team for Bowden. 25 for this man. Jones guarded by Pons. Pons is a good matchup, but he has not been able to get back into the oh. shot line. And it Outline that could only improve, you would assume, with a win tonight. Jones on a blow by. Pons got him with the ball.
10. Fulkerson loses his footing. Went down with it. No travel there. And the foul of no. Match up here. Lee versus Bowden. You can see Bowden sitting on that right hand. Eve Pond. Lee trying to get it over Fulkerson. Oh, wow. That was a big one for a lot of reasons. He's got 15. Two possession game. Yeah. Gamecocks and Black Volunteers in orange. It's Kotsar who's been playing outstanding basketball of late. Has that one pop out at Lawson. Almost another steal by Bowden that time. McCreary thunders at home. Transition. And Tennessee, of course, does a fantastic job of stopping the ball. They're very long. Pons with a huge rejection. He averaged. Shot clock at eight for Kusnar. Takes it all the way. Missed it. Two minutes to play. Kusnar all the way. Rejected by Pons. His second to come up with those victories to win this game. All Fulkerson and Pons for Tennessee in this second half. Tough shot for Lawson. And to Joe Lunardi, if the tournament began tomorrow, a team that was selected to finish 11th in the SEC is 16-7. But a good first year for before live new from AT&T. Oh, I'll be right back. With moderate to severe chrome. And every time you drive, and, and that's why you always tell defenders, show your hands, show your hands, show your hands, show your hands. So when that guy that's like, what is the key then to consistency in the final seven games of the year with so many tough opponents left on the schedule? Well, I think. Quickly threading the needle, shot clock down to 10. Hagen's nice fake, the zigzag, get it out, but it's goaltending. Maxi nine to shoot, gets a screen, off the switch. Maxi cross, jumper, of maybe being a little bit more aggressive. Of course, the size hurts him too, of the Kentucky's defense, that beautiful floater comes up empty. What do you think of Richards and Montgomery in particular? Juzang, drop it inside, and it makes you be honest. Scobie quickly banks it home, and 49-39, Kentucky leading Tennessee. Brooks, nice, rejected! Ready to check back in for Kentucky. Higgins, find the open man, it's Brooks with the J. Rimming out, icing. Higgins goes cross court, Montgomery, shot clock winding down. Quickly, ball fake, quickly puts it up. Now the traveling violation. So that's the second time we have seen the guard whistled for the walk, essentially at the top of the key. Up 15 in the first half, in complete control of things. The Vols giving themselves a chance. Good D by focus. Another rich by the net. Look at that thing. Put that English, as you called it, Kevin Fitzgerald. Spinning it in, and that's 10 minutes to play. Here in half number two, midway through. Mississippi State by eight. Drew Felios, Dallin Cuff. Said to one of his assistants, said to Frank Hayes, said, if you can get me that kid, we'll win a national championship. And he said, Coach, I don't think we're getting that kid. And it's, if he comes to come. Flag. Off to Miller. Nebo trying to post up. He really wants it against Fulker. Versus Mike Nance as well, but he's more frustrated that he missed the wide open layup. I think Fulkerson must have had his foot on the line. When he didn't have to that time, instead of going straight up, the rim protection of Josh Nebo has affected. And he will in this game. From the corner, Christian Brown just into the game. Misses the three. He had six of them. A season high. It's the paint touches. The ball moves, and Devon Dotson. He went right to the rim for the easy alley-oop. And interesting, Jay, as Brown is left wide open in the corner, went up. That's going to be a great ride back to the Kansas City Airport after the game. <laughs> Meanwhile, this game is getting closer and closer. The And last five games, four of 31 from three. And that has all turned around, at least in the second half. As Jordan Higgins, nice move wow. and a block by Pons. Wants to get rid of it. Nemhard with five to shoot. Jatobo got it. Fulkerson on the hook. 
And Blackshear clears it out. Really put Fulkerson into a tough two, did the Florida Gators. Well, this is the one right here. Inside. Witt inside. Rejected by Pons. Somebody use whiteout anymore? Scotty Pippen Jr., son of a two-time Hall of Famer, works it inside and the second ten. Fulkerson loses his footing. Went down with it. No travel there. And the follow no. Because they contest everything. Their defense is so packed in. Position. And Tennessee, of course, does a fantastic job of stopping the ball. They're very long. Pons with a huge rejection. He averaged. Shot clock at eight for Kusnar. Takes it all the way. Missed it. Bolden. Can't hit on the triple. But nine points in the second half. Lawson. Pull up jumper. No. Bryant. Coming off a career high. 22 points. And that come from behind win at Alabama on Tuesday night. Nice hands again. Uh, maybe being a little bit more aggressive. Of course, the size hurts him too. Of the Kentucky's defense, that beautiful floater comes up empty. Said to one of his, said to Frank Hayes, said, "If you can get me that kid, we'll win a national championship." And he said, "Coach, I don't think we're getting that kid." And it's, if he comes to cut the floor, reading defenses. That was our first foul of this game after doing Vanderbilt South Carolina on Saturday night. Where <laughs> in the first half, South. No, he wasn't. He said, "We committed." Some of the dumbest fouls in the history <laughs> okay. of basketball. <laughs> Not just that night. In the hit when he didn't have to that time, instead of going straight up, the rim protection of Josh Nebo has affected uh, Mason Jones. Tennessee, their offense just isn't scoring to that level. Just doing a little bit of everything. You have to think that Kansas is going to look to Azabuki again. Here comes the screen. Now they're going to try to lob it up to him. They've got a mismatch. Fulkerson on Tyree. Hunter. Wow! Pines was hit. I think we can do in this half. I'll give you two things. Okay? I'm going to tell you who the guy was on the unicycle on the Ray Mears teams. And I'm also going to... Bowden. And they'll switch off. Pines gets on Tyree. We'll drive the big into the paint. And Kevin Durant, of all people, jumped in the discussion. And Kevin Durant said, wait a second, I don't agree with any of this. And these are guys for Vanderbilt missing his third game. So Evans blocked by Pines. Yeah, sure. and I think I think it goes back to the late Mike Slive and now Greg Sankey, the commissioner. They really made an effort. How about that? Funny, not just ranked Kentucky and Auburn teams, but oh, by the way, they played a top 10 Memphis team about a week and a half ago. So is it safe? Yet to say I'm taking it. No, no, it's not. Um, again, this is not that year like we had a year ago. You know what? Grind it up. Two stars. Rejected by Pons. As like, you know, your your significant other. You can't not let anybody take that from you. You gotta hold on to it. Largest lead of five points. Bryant on a blow by. Point four a game. With that three pointer, he has already surpassed that. First, meaning he's got to be crafty with it. He's got to do it with ball fakes. He's got to create an advantage before he bounces it because. Saturday, so he's been here a week. He's had a few practices under his belt. Got the start today. But so. Stop the turnovers. We're, looks like we're coming down to four. One pass on it out of bounds. We don't have to do that. Thanks, Coach. Tennessee's lead. I really want to take this wide open three. You know, you, you just got to shoot it. Cross cutting to the pocket. Look at Pons with a left hand. Rich. A block now in 11 straight games. St. Hilaire rise and fire with a jumper, and he connects up. To bring the ball back out and to get it into number 34's hands up top. Cumberland does it again. Again with a rip. And 
and that one knocked away by Pons. Walker into the paint and got fouled at the rim. Most all of October was hampered by a hip groin injury. He's trying to work his way back, get to 100% health. Up down on this backcourt of Lamonte Turner and Jordan Bowne. That I can guarantee you. Very interesting. Wow. At the defensive end. In fact, they gave up a lot of second chance points opportunities. You can ill afford to do that this afternoon against this Washington team. A man who was a scoring machine at Carter High School in Strop. Eve Pons. Five on the boards early on. Brown attacks and another rejection from Pons. He would prefer right now. There's Pearl saying Auburn was. Got to get some stops, though. Well, and you do that, if you, can you guard the ball and stay in front of the ball right now if you're tennis? Green. On Allison Williams coming up at the half of the studio. I'm sure more on that in a little bit. Bowden <laughs> hit the jumper for Tennessee, and then the foul on Olivier Kamwa for the balls. He can do, he can, much more productive. Shot clock under five for Jones. Defers, sets up a three for six. Five to shoot for Joe. Joe, late clock, going to have to launch. No, instead he throws to Jones. Desperation, and that will miss. See, they've shot it well defensively. They're a step ahead. Tennessee is just hanging around, but they've not been very effective. Killer crossover, but everything only in the SEC, but the nation, Don Staley and the South Carolina Gamecocks. They are taking no mercy on teams, are they? They're no, they are not. Team for Bowden, 25 for this man. Jones guarded by Pons. Pons is a good matchup, but he has not been able to get back into the oh. shot line. And it's
Higgins. Higgins, nice move. Wow. And a block by Pons. Don't go under. Don't go. Don't go under on lock. Now they've been on him here. It's Johnson. Well, this is the one right here. Inside. Witt inside. Rejected by Pons. Somebody use wideout anymore? Scotty Pippen Jr., son of a two-time Hall of Famer, works it inside in the position. And Tennessee, of course, does a fantastic job of stopping the ball. They're very long. Pons with a huge rejection. He averaged direct lane to the hoop. And then a steal by Hannibal. Hannibal behind the back. Hannibal, a lot of contact, no call, but then... Minutes to play. Kusnard all the way, rejected by Pons, his second. And every time you drive, and, and that's why you always tell defenders, show your hands, show your hands, show your hands, show your hands. So when that guy that's... He was really smart getting to the free throw line with that quick jack. Pagan's aggressive. Oh, two Pons! 49-39, Kentucky leading Tennessee. Brooks. Eight point Kentucky lead. Hagen shifting gears. Quickly, the curl. Oh, major free finish with the left hand. And a wasted opportunity for the Volunteers. Kentucky running. Maxi the Euro. And rejected. Now the traveling violation. So that's the second time we have seen the guard whistle for the walk, essentially at the top of the key. Up 15 in the first half, in complete control of things. The Vols giving themselves a chance. Good D by focus. Another red. And they close it out. Can a road win like this galvanize the season? Bowden red hot in the second half. The senior. When he didn't have to that time, instead of going straight up, the rim protection of Josh Nebo has affected. went right to the rim for the easy alley-oop an interesting Jay as Brown is left wide open in the corner went up and last five games four of 31 from three and that has all turned around at least in the second half as Jordan Some indication that it has changed the behavior the try can go up top to Hadim C and Pons who has a block Terrence Davis playing at the next level so are those two guys Buffett has it rejected. Second block of the game. We've got a mismatch. Fulkerson on Tyree. Hunter. Wow! Pines was hit. Moyer. He wants it. Actually for Vanderbilt missing his third game. So Evans blocked by Pines. He to take too many. Lee shot blocked. It was Pons. Shots at the rim too. Uh, and these are shots that they have struggled with all season long. He carried that ball. Wheeler. He's tried that reverse. He has not forced anything in the second half, and he's looked for his teammates. And uh, really impressed. Anybody grind it out. Two stars. Rejected by Pons. Right there, you saw it was a broken play. South Carolina's defense was nearly top. Largest lead of five points. Bryant on a blow by. Bowden. Into the corner, sets up a three. Defense. Run it through Coates. I've seen a lot of success with that, whether it be on the block, a high ball screen with him. Right here. He's with Tennessee. Vescovi stepped back. He had a pretty good game shooting the ball the other day. He said, when I came out for warm-ups, I knew it would be up and knock down a huge three. And then sloppy again. Kobe Brown coughs it up. 
That's two times, man. Again, that's life of a freshman. Luke Rick Barnes and his coaching staff has, has harnessed that and has fostered an environment for Eve Pons to be successful this season. Just one of his nine shots. Saturday, so he's been here a week. He's had a few practices under his belt. Got the start today. But so someone. You love that offense. Folkers in the first player in the double figures. He's got 10. Henry gets stripped. Much how the game's. I really want to take this wide open three. You know, you, you just got to shoot it. Cross cutting to the pocket. Look at Ponds with a left hand. Red ball's poked out of play. 24 now on the season for Ponds. Third in the SEC entering today. And the thing Hitter in volleyball coming in and sending that to the surface. Wow, wow, wow. Number 35 is the game long. It's been there, man. We got to take a look at this replay. <laughs> I think Pons could have blocked that shot with his head. I may be wrong. Ball sent out of bounds. Pons with six blocks. I mean, it, the guy just plays like he's. He played very well for the balls who are within two. Vote from Williams. Cannot stuff it home. And the rebound of the bench with two fouls. That did certainly help Tennessee because he's been a solid player for them all year. A oh, nice coming out the ball. Pons comes over to Acted by Pons, his first block. How quickly Pons could get off his feet into the shot line. And Pons picks up the loose ball. Match up here, Lee versus Bowden. You can see Bowden sitting on that right hand. Eve Pond. That one didn't get it. Since Bandy had a five point lead, Tennessee's gone on a 21 to 8 run. And it's all started. Coming off a career high, 22 points, and that come from behind win at Alabama on Tuesday night. Nice hands again. On State of Tennessee, a freshman from Buffalo, and another lefty. Lob it up. What a great read all fake, but then he did not establish a pivot foot. Mike Roberts, one of the best in the business. He's gonna get that. Trying to pound the rock early. They're four of seven from the field. When Jacksonville State hasn't turned it over, they've been great two of three, but that's the fifth steal. Final four, which is spectacular. And then uh, Minnesota for three and a half years. So you've been around plenty of successful He continues to get more time, more minutes. He's gonna continue to blossom on this team. Gene Baptiste now just forcing the issue. It's a career high 11 for Eve Pons, the junior from France. As he continues to develop, the more basketball he gets to play, you're going to see more. Short, solid defense by Pons. By Sawyer. Pons grabs it back. Trying to break him down into the paint, stripped away. Louisville finds it with two and taken back with Pons. Good job of circling the post and just moving his feet right now. And a taller guy, Obanda. Another turnover. Fulkerson nearly a steal, still Gantz. And it's stolen away by Pons. Gantz up. Division one signees on Grant's team when he was a senior. Taken away by Fulkerson. Emmanuel quickly, and I, and I would agree right now. Well, remember Anthony Edwards was getting a lot of attention as Richards gets fouled by Pons. Even some of the teams in the conference are the quad one, quad two opportunities. Puzzle, because it's Kerry Blackshear going over Plopchitz, who's a seven-footer. And Kerry Blackshear, man, is so versatile, Mike. Please, so far with the Tennessee half-court set offense, from what you're saying? Am I? 
well, to his team, would always come back to and struggle to score. Since it was three to two, a minute into the game, Alabama led. You're not used to that, and you have that adrenaline going. Under that 16 timeout, you start looking at the clock, hoping that thing happens fast. Perry, pulling his way to the bottom. Boston. They didn't quite get that that many times last year, but he was honoring his one of his idols, and Kobe Bryant, one of his good friends. Kyrie was, and he. Ball first. Dotson stop and go. Garrett has a bookie again. Fulkerson lost his headband. Hair's <laughs> flying all over the place. That must be tough to deal with. Yeah, it wouldn't be a problem for you or me. Here it is. No. And Pippen gets fouled. It'll be. He has not forced anything in the second half. And he's looked for his teammates. And, uh, Really impressed. Anybody after Drew Smith? I like that game. Pick a Smith. Pick a Smith. I'm, I'm with you. They got a lot of them. Here's Smith can go inside. Next year with a couple of five star guys. Floater around and down. And we've had back to back days, Sean, where an unranked team has beaten a top five opponent. Five and a half to go here in the first, an entertaining one. Tennessee and LSU. Baseline. I came up short, but that time Taylor able to, to get that seam and attack. And as the defense is extended. Hitter in volleyball coming in and sending that to the surface. Wow, wow, wow. Number 35 is put. Both over Pines. With several transfers and newcomers, so uh, you know the chemistry does not happen over there. Yeah, Eve Pons got his hand. But right now, the question is how far can this Tennessee leave this program? So there's a little more of the pie left for these players. Pons will be called for the foul as he fell for the ball fake. First two in the second half, the longer that he went, you would see him right beside him. This year, they're completely away from each other. No, nobody, nobody has to translate. Nobody has to communicate for him. one-sided this has been. Travis, a size advantage on Pons. Now Guerrero against Williams. Caught inside, left it short. Much better job there by Grant making him catch the ball two feet off of the block. You can tell just by his physical size what he's capable of doing. Your seven gets it down low and he gets it to go. A big guy in college ball. His motor and Luca Garza from Iowa, they set the bar, man. Them, them two dudes, they bring the wood every time. No run for Tennessee. Richards on the bench. Justina and Montgomery front court. Maxi, boy, that is such a tough shot he got. Hagan, one on one, left hand, no good. Justina crashes. Black shoe. I mean, your, your guy would.
Zaxby's question. Oh, for you. gosh. Let me see if they hit a three first. I'll get back to it. All right, so here's my Zaxby's question. Shots at the rim, too. These are shots that they have struggled with all season long. He carried that ball. Wheeler, he's tried that revert. Eventually loses four out of five. The offensive struggle started to kick in, but they yep. played really difficult teams. Oh, they lost Lamonte Turner. Run it through Coates. I've seen a lot of success with that, whether it be on the block, a high ball screen with him right here. You can tell Kazo has a lot of faith in his transfer point guard. Two quick fouls. I didn't know if he would put him in. Missouri loves the corner three and a foul on the ground. And that'll go against Tennessee. Mays again on the drive, try to switch to the left. Yep. Three on two. And to score like Tennessee, don't help him out with the easy ones. Good job with his legs. I don't think he has that same kind of success using his legs against LSU's we'll see. defense. We shall see. This should do it. To score and do other things as well for this basketball team to be effective. All the way to the cup goes Cook. That's a tough finish game long. It's been there, man. we got to take a look at this replay. <laughs> I think Pons could have blocked that shot with his head. I may be wrong. James for three. Doesn't get it to drop. And here comes Jacksonville State pushing tempo the other way. Good. 15. Cumberland passes up a three. Now takes one. Cumberland will dispense of it. Back from Williams. Deep three. Again in May. Yeah, and Stephen A. Smith, one of our people, get an honor. Along with Mark Few, Bruce Arians. Jim Kelly's going to be an honor guest with us, along with Pat Williams. Oh, baby. 31 in a row at stake here. We're at stake is pride. He's the pride. You want to be the best of the special. Here we go, baby. Gonna go down the wire here. 31 in a row. The boss have. Walker with a foot slide. No call. Gray steps inside the arc. That won't go into possessions. This is Ryan up top, guarded by Pons. Steps up for a deep three. He had five assists against Duke when Duke was second ranked when NC State upset him on January 6th of 2018. They're good with that. I see a token full court pressure as Baker, a little stop and start, gets to the rim and gets stuffed. Her longest active home winning streaks. Thorpe, nice little crossover, right handed runner off the glass and in. And the other four guys should be loaded almost to the entire side of the floor. And if you don't do it against Auburn, they're going to continue to punch the paint on. Give a clean look. And that second defender doesn't step up high enough or hot enough. And Samir Dowdy says, thank you very much. Balls. Tennessee was threatening. Big time buckets, including a three by Javon McCormick. One of five seniors leading a. Quickly through contact, no call by John Fulkerson. Montgomery down low, no good. There's the senior, Nate Sestina, as he flushes. Uh, prayers for those families right now that just have lost everything. They've lost loved ones. It's things that sometimes don't make sense if you don't even. And then he steals the ball, spins, and gets fouled. Now 17 from this first half here today at Tennessee. Balls lead it, 32 to 17, and we hedge it to the studio. I'm going to Max Oklahoma and West Virginia following us as soon as we're done here in Tennessee. If you're Florida, you're trying to get a quick basket. They both are confident in their strokes when they get open. Jones. Pushed and got it to go.
somebody use wideout anymore? Scotty Pippen Jr., son of a two-time Hall of Famer, works it inside, and the shot. Vanderbilt team, middle of the pack in the SEC in scoring at 72 points a game. Baseline drive and a reverse by Educa Obina picks up his second, and Santiago Vescovi charged with a foul a moment ago. John Fulkerson has been so good, AK, because he's been efficient. 8 of 12 from the four last. Always better to drift than to drive. I would suck at that. Bowden rises. Three from the top, it goes. Jordan Wright already has 12. That is more than twice of his average. He said it. I'm blocking you from overpaying. Well, finding deals is hard. Nah, acting in a commercial is hard. Saving money is easy. Just use honey. Let me show you. Be able to pivot through. Get it to Fulkerson, who did the rest. Sealing the defender and creating a lane to score. They've continued that with the front line of Tennessee, and Fulkerson has come alive. Great cut. Fulkerson with the left hand. Muscovy with great vision, finding a ever cutting John Fulkerson. What a huge second half. Fulkerson has it blocked. Kusnard, one on one. Kusnard all the way, and it spins out, but I love it. And Tennessee, of course, does a fantastic job of stopping the ball. They're very long. Pons with a huge rejection. He averaged. Averaging 19 points his last two games. Rick Barnes thinks he's got a great find in that freshman. Kusnard on a leaner drops it for his direct lane to the hoop. And then a steal by Hannibal. Hannibal behind the back. Hannibal, a lot of contact, no call, but then. Coats are with six to shoot. Backing in, muscling in. Turnaround hook shot, got it! What a... He has really good feet. Kevin, I mean, he just sealed him. Cheney was trying to get over the top. Tall Silla. So that'll snap the field goal this drought, which was more than eight minutes. It has been in every single game. It has never been blown out. This would be the first instance, unless there is... The sophomores are really leading the way for this Kentucky team. Here's the freshman, Maxie. And the follow goes. Yeah. Yeah, Kentucky doing a great job. 30 points has loaded in the paint. And a nice hustle of Kuzang again. Huh? And he gets the bucket. He's got the scopey. Higgins, fake. Quickly drives. Can't finish it, but a foul. Rick Barnes' team allows 61.5 per game. Kentucky already has 62. Acrobatic play. The big guy in college ball. His motor and Luca Garza from Iowa. They set the bar, man. Them two dudes, they bring the wood every time. Higgins, nice move. Wow. Block by Pons. An old run for Tennessee. Richards on the bench. Christina in Montgomery front court. Maxi. Boy, that is such a tough shot he got. Hagen, one on one, left hand, no good. Christina crashes in the second half. He's pushing Nick Richards around right now as Maxi sees the lane, throws it up, no good. Blackshear. I mean, your, your guy was through cleanly, and you let Blackshear have a wide open 15 footer. What have we seen so far? Don't go under. Don't go. Don't go under on lock. Now they've been on him here. It's Johnson, Fulkerson, and the hook. And Blackshear clears it out. Really put Fulkerson into a tough two. Did the Florida Gators? Well, this is the one right here. Inside. Wit inside. Rejected by Pons. Hey, Joe. Fill in the slack, but if Mason Jones gets it going, watch out. Jones on a step back two, left it short. We got ourselves a four-point game. Arkansas dominated the first half. Sills on a floater, no. Gets his own, kind of. Jones in the trees. Wow. Are you kidding me? 
Mason team for Bowden. 25 for this man. Jones guarded by Pons. Pons is a good matchup, but he has not been able to get back into the oh. shot line. And it Outline that could only improve, you would assume, with a win tonight. Jones on a blow by. Pons got him with the box. Ten. Fulkerson loses his footing. Went down with it. No travel there. And the foul of no. Match up here. Lee versus Bowden. You can see Bowden sitting on that right hand. Eve Pond. Lee trying to get it over Fulkerson. Oh, wow. That was a big one for a lot of reasons. He's got 15. Two possession game. Yeah. In Cox and Black volunteers in orange. It's Kotsar who's been playing outstanding basketball of late. Has that one pop out. And Lawson, almost another steal by Bowden that time. McCreary thunders it home. Position. And Tennessee, of course, does a fantastic job of stopping the ball. They're very long. Pons with a huge rejection. He averaged. Shot clock at eight for Kusnar. Takes it all the way. Missed it. Two minutes to play. Kusnar all the way. Rejected by Pons. His second to come up with those victories to win this game. All Fulkerson and Pons for Tennessee in this second half. Tough shot for Lawson. Getting to Joe Lunardi if the tournament began tomorrow. A team that was selected to finish 11th in the SEC is 16 and 7. But a good first year for before live. New from AT&T. I'll be right back. With moderate to severe chrome. And every time you drive, and, and that's why you always tell defenders, show your hands, show your hands, show your hands, show your hands. So when that guy that's like, what is the key then to consistency in the final seven games of the year with so many tough opponents left on the schedule? Well, I think. Quickly threading the needle, shot clock down to 10. Hagen's nice fake, the zigzag. Get it out, but it's goaltending. Maxi nine to shoot, gets a screen. Off the switch. Maxi cross, jumper. Of maybe being a little bit more aggressive. Of course, the size hurts him, too, of the Kentucky's defense. That beautiful floater comes up empty. Playing thing on Richards and Montgomery in particular. Juzan, drop it inside. It, it makes you be honest. Scobie quickly banks it home. And 49-39, Kentucky leading Tennessee. Brooks, nice. Rejected. Ready to check back in for Kentucky. Hayes, find the open man. It's Brooks with the J. Rimming out. Ison. Higgins goes cross court. Montgomery shot clock winding down. Quickly. Ball fake. Quickly puts it up. And in. Now the traveling violation. So that's the second time we have seen the guard whistled for the walk, essentially at the top of the key. Up 15 in the first half in complete control of things. The Vols giving themselves a chance. Good D by focus. Another rich of the net. Look at that thing. Put that English, as you called it, Kevin Fitzgerald. Spinning it in, and that's 10 minutes to play. Here in half number two. Midway through. Mississippi State by eight. Drew Felios Dallin Cuff. Said to one of his said to Frank Hayes, said, if you can get me that kid, we'll win a national championship. And he said, Coach, I don't think we're getting that kid. And it's, if he comes to cut. Flag off to Miller. Nebo trying to post up. He really wants it against Fulker. Versus Mike Nance as well, but he's more frustrated that he missed the wide open layup. I think Fulkerson must have had his foot on the line. When he didn't have to that time, instead of going straight up, the rim protection of Josh Nebo has affected. Uh, and he will in this game. From the corner, Christian Brown just into the game. This is the three. He had six of them. A season high. It's the paint touches. The ball moves, and Devon Dotson. He went right to the rim for the easy alley-oop. And interesting, Jay, as Brown is left wide open in the corner, went up. That's going to be a great ride back to the Kansas City Airport after the game. <laughs> Meanwhile, this game is getting closer and closer. The
and last five games, four of 31 from three. And that has all turned around, at least in the second half, as Jordan. Nice move wow. and a block by Pons. Wants to get rid of it. Nemhard with five to shoot. Jatobo got it. Fulkerson on the hook. And Blackshear clears it out. Really put Fulkerson into a tough two, did the Florida Gators. Well, this is the one right here. Inside. Witt inside, rejected by Pons. Somebody use wideout anymore? Scotty Pippen Jr., son of a two-time Hall of Famer, works it inside in the second ten. Fulkerson loses his footing, went down with it. No travel there, and the foul no. Because they contest everything. Their defense is so packed in. Position. And Tennessee, of course, does a fantastic job of stopping the ball. They're very long. Pons with a huge rejection. He averaged. And the shot clock at eight for Kusnar. Takes it all the way. Missed it. Bolden. Can't hit on the triple. But nine points in the second half. Lawson. Pull up jumper. No, Bryant. Coming off a career high, 22 points, and that come from behind win at Alabama on Tuesday night. Nice hands again. Pons. Well, maybe being a little bit more aggressive. Of course, the size hurts him too. Of Kentucky's defense, that beautiful floater comes up empty. Said to one of his, said to Frank Hayes, said, "If you can get me that kid, we'll win a national championship." He said, "Coach, I don't think we're getting that kid." And it's, if he comes to cut the floor, reading defenses. That was our first foul of this game after doing Vanderbilt South Carolina on Saturday night. Where <laughs> in the first half, South Carolina. No, he wasn't. He said, we committed some of the dumbest fouls in the history <laughs> the of basketball. <laughs> Not just that night. In the hit when he didn't have to that time, instead of going straight up, the rim protection of Josh Nebo has affected uh, Mason Jones. Tennessee, their offense just isn't scoring to that level. Just doing a little bit of everything. You have to think that Kansas is going to look to Azubuki again. Here comes the screen. Now they're going to try to lob it up to him. They've got a mismatch. Fulkerson on Tyree. Hunter. Wow! Pines was hit. I think we can do in this half. I'm going to do two things. Okay? I'm going to tell you who the guy was on the unicycle on the Ray Mears teams. And I'm also going to... Bowden. And they'll switch off Pines. Gets on Tyree. Will drive the big into the paint. And Kevin Durant, of all people, jumped in the discussion. And Kevin Durant said, wait a second. I don't agree with any of this. And these are guys. Sure for Vanderbilt missing his third game. So Evans blocked by Pines. Yeah, sure. and I think I think it goes back to the late Mike Slive and now Greg Sankey, the commissioner. They really made an effort. How about that? 20, not just ranked Kentucky and Auburn teams, but oh, by the way, they played a top 10 Memphis team about a week and a half ago. So is it safe yet to say I'm taking it? No, no, it's not. Um, again, this is not that year like we had a year ago. You know what? Grind it up. By Pons. As like you know, your your significant other. You can't not let anybody take that from you. You got to hold on to it. Largest lead of five points. Bryant on a blow by. Point four a game. With that three pointer, he has already surpassed that. First, meaning he's got to be crafty with it. He's got to do it with ball fakes. He's got to create an advantage before he bounces it because Saturday, so he's been here a week. He's had a few practices under his belt. Got the start today. But so stop the turnovers. We're look like we're coming down to four. One pass throwing it out of bounds. We don't have to do that. Thanks, coach. Tennessee's lead. I really want to take this wide open three. You know, you, you just got to shoot it. 
Cross cutting to the bucket. Look at Pons with a left hand. Rich. A block now in 11 straight games. St. Hilaire rise and fire with a jumper, and he connects up. To bring the ball back out and to get it into number 34's hands up top. Cumberland does it again. again with a rip and that one knocked away by Pons Walker into the paint and got fouled at the rim most all of October was hampered by a hip groin injury he's trying to work his way back get to 100% health up down on this backcourt of Lamonte Turn and Jordan Bowne that I can guarantee you Very interesting. Wow. At the defensive end. In fact, they gave up a lot of second chance points opportunities. You can ill afford to do that this afternoon against this Washington team. A man who was a scoring machine at Carter High School in Strong. E. Pons. Five on the boards early on. Brown attacks and another rejection from Pons. He would prefer right now. There's Pearl saying Auburn was. Got to get some stops, though. Well, when you do that, if you can you guard the ball and stay in front of the ball right now if you're tennis? Lane. On Allison Williams coming up at the half of the studio. I'm sure more on that in a little bit. Bowden <laughs> hit the jumper for Tennessee, and then the foul on Olivier Kamwa for the balls. He can do. He can much more productive. Shot clock under five for Jones. Defers, sets up a three for six. Five to shoot for Joe. Joe, late clock, going to have to launch. No, instead he throws to Jones. Desperation, and that will miss. See, they've shot it well defensively. They're a step ahead. Tennessee is just hanging around, but they've not been very effective. Killer crossover, but everything only in the SEC, but the nation, Dawn Staley and the South Carolina Gamecocks. They are taking no mercy on teams, are they? They're no, they are not. 15 for Bowden, 25 for this man. Jones guarded by Pons. Pons is a good matchup, but he has not been able to get back into the oh. shot line. And it's Here's up on five consecutive games in. That's their recipe for scoring. Dribble penetration from Pippen. Ready to go. Play on. Here has to sit on Maxwell Evans' left hand. Left hand dominant driver, much like Saban Lee is to his right hand. Great pass. Goes behind the back. By the way, Admiral, thank you so much. And now I have to tell Tom and Andy as I toss it back to them that they have to like all my Instagram pictures now. That's what <laughs> much better at protecting the rim. Came in here as the leading shot blocking team in the SEC. And we have seen that on the last two possessions. Power of the headband. Shot. It's a BB gun. No way he could penetrate the skin. Scotty Pippen. The hustle of John Fulkerson. Loose ball. Vandy finds it. A turnover for Viscovi. Rick Barnes throws his hands in. Because they contest everything. Their defense is so packed in. 
Apple Field, and, and, and he's becoming that player now for Tennessee. Kusnar, too strong on a three, lost. Bolden, can't hit on the triple. Ball for Henderson, who has had to play some big minutes with Cheney and Bailey in foul trouble. And that happening right in front of us, and you saw the attention that Mason Jones attracts. Jordan Bowden off the mark. Well, Tennessee could use a fast start from Bowden. John Petty. Well, feeling it. Knocked down a couple of three-pointers on the last few Bama possessions. There you go. Exceedingly well also, because this is a very fun style to play. Offensive foul. <laughs> By the way, the Big 12... You've got Baylor and Kansas projected as one seeds. Road win. It's just a must win for Alabama. Their NCAA tournament. Boy, the 20 tonight for Nate Oates' team. And look, they're still within two. When we look at this Tennessee team win over VCU and Washington, and obviously those two teams still have to contend. No, he wasn't. He said, we committed some of the dumbest fouls in the history of basketball. <laughs> Not just that night. In the hit. Mason Jones, Tennessee, their offense just isn't scoring to that level. So he's going to be a challenge for Devon Dotson. Pretty good length all across the floor, really, for Rick Barnes' team. they got a lot of guys who can cover a lot of different people. He's doing a little bit of everything. You have to think that Kansas is going to look to Azubuki again. Here comes the screen. Now they're going to try to lob it up to him. Another one of the featured games in the Big 12 SEC Challenge. That game will start on ESPN. It isn't just because it's a higher percentage shot because it's closer. It's also the value of opening the floor. Kevin Durant. Would that include a paint touch. A shooter cannot be gun shot. But really, if you look at the totality of that game, I mean... Vanderbilt never recovered from that because if you win that game, maybe you can string the NBA Finals in 06. Boy, we have got no easy looks at the rim. With less than a second, the bank and run. Well, nobody made a three in the first half, so Evans and Pippen pass up the trip. A turnover the Vols. So this is the sixth possession for Vanderbilt. It has turned it over four times. And to suit. To sue this <laughs> before or after the game. <laughs> well, I know everything about Pitt, man. And John Fulkerson, if he continues playing the way he has the first couple months of this year, things are going to start trending in the right way for Tennessee. For yeah, sure. and I think I think it goes back to the late Mike Slive and now Greg Sankey, the commissioner. They really made an effort. How about that? Do I want it? Do I want to be close to my family? I want to play right away. Do I want to be the man? And do I want to be coached by somebody who could? Not just ranked Kentucky and Auburn teams, but oh, by the way, they played a top 10 Memphis team about a week and a half ago. So. Acted by Pons, his first block. How quickly Pons could get off his feet into the shot line. And then Pons picks up the loose ball. Match up here, Lee versus Bowden. You can see Bowden sitting on that right hand. Eve Pond. That one didn't get it. Since Vandy had a five-point lead, Tennessee's gone on a 21 to eight run. And it's all started. Coming off a career high, 22 points, and that come from behind win at Alabama on Tuesday night. Nice hands again. On from Tennessee, a freshman from Buffalo, and another lefty. Lob it up. What a great read all fake, but then he did not establish a pivot foot. Mike Roberts, one of the best in the business. He's gonna get that. Trying to pound the rock early. They're four of seven from the field. When Jacksonville State hasn't turned it over, they've been great two of three, but that's the fifth steal. Final four, which is spectacular. And then uh, Minnesota for three and a half years. So you've been around 
plenty of successful He continues to get more time, more minutes. He's going to continue to blossom on this team. Jean Baptiste now just forcing the issue. It's a career high 11 for Yves Pons, the junior from France. As he continues to develop, the more basketball he gets to play, you're going to see more. Short, solid defense by Pons. By Sawyer. Pons grabs it back. trying to break him down into the paint stripped away Louisville finds it with two and taken back with Pons good job of circling the post and just moving his feet right now and a taller guy Obanda another turnover Wilkerson nearly a steal still Gans and it's stolen away by Pons Gans up Division one signees on Grant's team when he was a senior taken away by Fulkerson Nice move wow. and a block by Pons. Don't go under. Don't go. Don't go under on lock. Now they've been on him here. It's Johnson. Well, this is the one right here. Inside. Wit inside. Rejected by Pons. Anybody use wideout anymore? Scotty Pippen Jr., son of a two-time Hall of Famer, works it inside in the position. And Tennessee, of course, does a fantastic job of stopping the ball. They're very long. Pons with a huge rejection. He averaged direct lane to the hoop. And then a steal by Hannibal. Hannibal behind the back. Hannibal, a lot of contact, no call, but then minutes to play. Kusnard all the way, rejected by Pons, his second. And every time you drive, and, and that's why you always tell defenders, show your hands, show your hands, show your hands, show your hands. So when that guy that's... It was really smart getting to the free throw line with that quick jack. Hagan's aggressive. Oh, two Pons! 49-39, Kentucky leading Tennessee. Brooks. Eight point Kentucky lead. Hagan shifting gears. Quickly, the curl. Oh, major free finish with the left hand. And a wasted opportunity for the Volunteers. Kentucky running, maxing the Euro. And rejected. Now the traveling violation. So that's the second time we have seen the guard whistle for the walk, essentially at the top of the key. Up 15 in the first half, in complete control of things. The Vols giving themselves a chance. Good D by focus. Another red. And they close it out. Can a road win like this galvanize the season? Bowden red hot in the second half. The senior. When he didn't have to that time, instead of going straight up, the rim protection of Josh Nebo has affected. went right to the rim for the easy alley-oop an interesting Jay as Brown is left wide open in the corner went up and last five games four of 31 from three and that has all turned around at least in the second half as Jordan Some indication that it has changed the behavior the try can go up top to Hadim C and Pons who has a block Terrence Davis playing at the next level so are those two guys 
Buffett has it rejected. Second block of the game. We've got a mismatch. Fulkerson on Tyree. Hunter. Wow! Pines was hit high. Moyer, he wants it. Actually for Vanderbilt, missing his third game. So Evans, blocked by Ponds. He to take too many. Lee, shot blocked, it was Ponds. Shots at the rim, too. Uh, and these are shots that they have struggled with all season long. He carried that ball. Wheeler, he's tried that reverse. He has not forced anything in the second half. And he's looked for his teammates and uh, really impressed. Anybody who grind it out. Two stars. Rejected by Pons. Right there, you saw it was a broken play. South Carolina's defense was nearly top. Largest lead of five points. Bryant on a blow by. Bowden into the corner, sets up a three. Defense. Run it through Coates. Eye. We've seen a lot of success with that, whether it be on the block, a high ball screen with him right here. He's with Tennessee. Vescovi step back. He had a pretty good game shooting the ball the other day. He said, when I came out for warm-ups, I knew it would be up and knock down a huge three. And then sloppy again. Kobe Brown coughs it up. That's two times, man. Again, that's life of a freshman. Luke Barnes and his coaching staff has, has harnessed that and has fostered an environment for Eve Pons to be successful this season. Just one of his nine shots. Saturday, so he's been here a week. He's had a few practices under his belt. Got the start today. But so someone. You love that offense. Folkers in the first player in the double figures. He's got 10. Henry gets stripped. Much how the game's. I really want to take this wide open three. You know, you, you just got to shoot it. Cross cutting to the pocket. Look at Pond with a left hand. Red ball's poked out of play. 24 now on the season for Ponds. Third in the SEC entering today. And the thing Hitter in volleyball coming in and sending that to the surface. Wow, wow, wow. Number 35 is the game long. It's been there, man. We got to take a look at this replay. <laughs> I think Pons could have blocked that shot with his head. I may be wrong. Ball sent out of bounds. Pons with six blocks. I mean, it, the guy just plays like he's... he's played very well for the balls who are within two. Vote from Williams. Cannot stuff it home. And the rebound of the bench with two fouls. That did certainly help Tennessee because he's been a solid player for them all year. A oh, nice cut without the ball. Pons comes over to.